So what has happened to Herbert Mormish Studstill L? Let's have a look together and find out. <laughs> G'day and welcome back once again to the channel and for first time viewers welcome along. Um, if you are a first time viewer and you wish to subscribe the little button has now appeared in the corner so that's easy for you to click on that and subscribe click on the bell and you will receive future videos. So what has happened to Herbert Mormish Studstill L? Well, it's actually quite interesting where he's ended up. But I'll cover that shortly. Um, firstly, though, as promised, uh, in the video from the other day, um, he says, you broke my window again. So when did it get broken first? Let's have a look. Hold on a sec. Is there a recording made of this counter? Sir, need your license, okay? Yeah, I'm showing you a license. He has it. That's not a license. He has it. That's what is that. He has it. Sorry? He has it. What all is that? May I speak? For the record, may I have your name and badge number? Pay attention, Herbert. They've already given you name and badge numbers. Jeez. We need to pray. Where's your license at? Why's he you got your name and stuff in there or what? Yeah. It's got all our name. Where's yeah. it? Yeah. Everything's in there. Sir, upon the request of a police officer in the state of Michigan, sir, you must press. Must present a valid Is there uh, an emergency? How can I help? Otherwise, you're in violation of the law. Do you understand that? Are you familiar with Article uh, United States Code 12, is a section 241 and 242? Right. Oh, not this again. You have a driver's license. I already have it. I already showed it to you. You have a Michigan driver's license. I already showed it to you. Where's it at? Do you have the paper? I gave you the paper. For Grand Theft Auto. Sir. Grand Theft Auto. We're ordering you to get out. Grand Theft Auto. Upon the request of a police officer, you must step out of the vehicle. You want me to get out? No, no, don't get out. Do you understand me? Step out of the car and put your camera down. Sir, once again. I am not for hire. For the record, I am operating in a not for hire capacity. I'm giving you 30 for, seconds. By engaging in for any form of transportation. No, no, don't I'm get out. I'm giving you 30 seconds. And I'm I, I have showed you my ID. Can, Can I get out? No, no, don't get out. ID. Don't get out. Don't get out. Don't get out. Don't get out. Let's go. Here. 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 This is not an ID. That is a that is an identity card that doesn't mean nothing. Step out of the car. Breaking the entry! Breaking the entry! Breaking the entry! Alright, sir, you've been warned. No! Don't break my window! 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 Breaking the entry! Breaking the entry! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Open it up now! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Grand Theft Auto! Don't 
need to pay attention, they've already smashed your window. Put the camera down! Put the camera down! Look at this door, pull his ass out! Pull his ass out, son. Amor, get over there! So that was the first time Herbert got his window broken. And as we saw the other day, he went on to have it done again. So what has happened to Herbert? Well, there's another video of him where he went to Mexico um, for a holiday and for a month, and he was reported missing. It seems as though he didn't tell anybody. So he was detained and he was returned home. But he then went back to Mexico and that's where he intends to live. Let's have a look at his spacious palace that he's going to be paying peanuts for. Let's have a quick look at where he intends to live. Well, this is it, my future apartment. When I come back to Lodi Marco, I, I'm, I will move to this apartment. It has my name written all over it. Yeah. It varies, very small. No shit. Yeah, very, very comfortable. And only $400 a month. What did you just say? And only $400 a month. Cable, internet, everything. Lights, heat, air conditioner. <laughs> That's the funniest damn thing I've ever heard! That. Very small bathroom. Yeah, I got nothing to worry about. Kitchen. Eating area. Put the computer right there. Or right there. Or right here. I'll figure it out. Fifteen minutes from the ocean. Yeah, I already got me a job. So there's Herbert in his nice, new, comfortable shoebox. Uh, sorry, I mean apartment. It is in Los de Marcos in Mexico. But already he seems to have some sort of problem with the authorities. <sighs> From now on, when I go anywhere, I'm going to carry my Bible, the Constitution, because we all have rights. In the name of Jesus, I decree protection from your government, from cops, from anything. I pray to the good Lord to protect us from what's going to happen, about to happen, and will happen. I pray to the good Lord Jesus. Every single day I will pray to Him for protection, wisdom, guidance. Protect us from those who are ignorant. We don't know what's going on. This shouldn't have happened. But from now on, I will carry my Bible and the Constitution of Mexico with me. So the country may have changed, but Herbert's point of view has not. This next and final clip is Herbert going out to the bank during the current global issue and is spoken to by the local police. Came here to do business and leave. I came here to go to Intercom Bank, take care of business.
What he say? The government of the state is invite everybody to stay in home and stop filming, sir. I'm make filming, it easy. Make it I'm easy. filming for my safety. Now, why can I go to Intercom Bank? Because the rules of the town and the government. See? So why are they going in? Because we all know this voice. I'm from Lodi Marcos. I came here to do business. You have a closer bank in La Peñita. Go there. We are not taking visits. Well, this is a violation of my travels. Herbert, I really don't think the Mexican police give two hoots about violating your travels, especially in this current climate. No, 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 there's no coronavirus. So I'm not allowed to come in here. Herbert, whatever you do, do not ask for name and badge number. All right then. What's your name and badge number? Yeah, don't touch, no touchy, no touchy, no touchy, no touchy, no touchy. This guy got a machine gun. He, I don't know his what he, what he's gonna do. Yes, Herbert, it is a machine gun, and I don't think that gentleman will be afraid to use it. Little tip here: bullets really hurt. Don't get behind me, Bob. Don't get behind me. So that's it. Herbert was shepherded away uh, to his closer bank and as of uh, four days ago he hasn't been heard of since. Hopefully the gentleman with the machine gun didn't get trigger happy. Okay that'll do it. You are all up to date with Herbert Studstill living in Mexico in a very spacious apartment which he's not paying a lot of money for okay so that'll do for this video thank you very much for watching if you did like the video please hit the thumbs up button and as I mentioned earlier if you are new here just hit that little button in the corner there and you can subscribe for future videos I do hope that you are all well and keeping safe please continue to do so and I will see you on the next video. G'day.